Hi guys, it's me here, Pooh Bear 253 Hi, how's it going? Happy Sunday, everybody. So, <clears throat> guys, it's March. It is March 13th, and it is daylight saving time. Oh my goodness. So, for people, I like, I know, like, all I know is, like, Arizona doesn't observe daylight savings, but, like, farming places where there are, like, farms and stuff, you know how it goes when you fall back and spring forward. We're springing forward. I like to fall back because you get an extra hour. And then they take it, they giveth, and they taketh away. So that hour is going to be taken away. So that sucks. But anyway, um... I am here in my nursery, and this little spooga wooga right here has just stolen Mommy's heart. There she is. <laughs> she was in the bed, but I took her. I took her out of the bed and put her down there just so you kind of get the sunlight coming on her. You guys, like, I am, like, the biggest protective reborn Mommy, like, I, like, always have to have them covered. Like, that is really an OCD thing must be because I had her out with me yesterday and her hair was loose. And I could just see it, like, getting all discombobulated. And I was like, oh, gosh, this is really bothering me. So I gently combed out her hair and brushed it down and put a hat on her. Um for night night time so I'm about to do a chain video of her so I'm got I'm sure you guys have noticed the more upbeatness and I think I really truly think that like my emotions and I don't know well-being is like connected to the earth and environment or something and like the weather so when it's sunny I'm happy when it's rainy and gloomy I'm gloomy so it was rainy yesterday so I guess that's where the gloom came from so uh, I'm back. I am me and I am happy and buzzing like a little bumblebee. So someone had asked me a question. I think it was Jenny something a majigger. And she was like, I said, I heard you saying you haven't gotten a chance to attach her belly plate. And this is what I was talking about. This is how I do my baby's belly plates. I use the E6000, which I used the last bit of it up on her belly plate. And I get a nice pretty satin ribbon and I glue it in place and then I glue some felt on top of it. It's usually white, but I didn't have any more white, so I had the light pink um does just fine. And you can't uh well you can see it in the sun or whatever, but in regular, you know, against her you can't tell the difference. So there's her beautiful belly plate. And I'm gonna be putting that on her. She's gonna be getting dressed. And this little outfit, she has some little sockies. Like I say, I am just ser seriously OCD and just, I am just like so protective, like especially over Aria, like, and oh my gosh, like <laughs> she is just like everything to me. So like she's got her socks, she has her little scratch mittens, this is her onesie she's going to wear underneath. It's her outfit with all the little hearts on it. And it has a little skirt. And it just has little polka dots on the skirt. And this is a Cherokee newborn. And it's got the little tights and leggings. And I just got the little slippers that I probably put on. I might put some shoes on. I haven't decided. I just grabbed those because I saw them in her container. So, here's a tripod over here. So, I have to set it up behind the scenes. Like... I'm doing a nice, juicy, long changing video for you guys. No, um, what's the word? No, um, editing or anything like that. So, let's get the scissors. And the... So, this little girl came back home to me on Friday. Wait, no, no, yesterday, I'm tripping. Um, yesterday, and she came while I was in the middle of cleaning, and, like, I saw the boxes, and I brought them in the nurse, so I said, like, okay, I'll get her all situated after I'm done cleaning, and then I tried to go back clean, and I was like, no, I have to see her, I have to see her, so 
I got her out the box and I just kind of sat her head on top of her body and sat her little belly plate on her just to see what she looks like and everything. And we had some bonding time last night and I am head over heels all over again for this little girl. So she's my special little girl and finally she's home and she is here to stay. And just want to give a shout out to her artist, Latoya. She just did a bang up job on this little sweetheart. And if you don't know about Latoya over at Priceless Reborn Nursery, ooh, you will know at some point <laughs> because that young lady has some serious talent. I have never received a reborn with this amount of detailing on them. Like, top notch. Totally top notch. So, gotta get her smelling good. For sure. And while I had her open, I went ahead and switched out her polyfill to cluster stuff and I went ahead and cut up an additional wonder wafer to put in her just for extra goodness while I just had her open already you know so I was like might as well go and add a little extra in there why not <laughs> so I cut up the wonder wafer that was in her and then I cut up another one just because I just wanted to and I just did it because I wanted to so let's get this little angel over here. She has mommy's heart. Oh my goodness. I just immediately, that's when you know a reborn just has your heart. When you, first thing you do when you wake up in the morning is come in the nursery to give them a hug or just to see them. That's when you know they've got you. And this little girl has me for sure. I love her. With everything in me. I love her. She's so sweet. She's perfect. And her beautiful eyes. She's just absolutely perfect. Just perfection. So. Guys. I believe like my hubby and I have. Totally mastered. The art of. Sacrifice. <laughs> and like. What's the word I'm looking for? Like. If you eat something bad, you, like, don't eat much later type of thing. So, uh, last weekend, my cousin, uh, had his baptismal. He got baptized, and we had dinner. At my cousin's house, we had fried chicken and red beans and rice. And they had dessert. They had carrot cake. My aunt makes this, like, famous carrot cake. That no one can duplicate or recreate. And if anyone tries to go anywhere and get a slice of carrot cake, it tastes nothing like hers. So, I was like, yeah, I have blood work coming up. So, I took me and hubby a slice of carrot cake and ooey gooey and put it in the freezer. I had my blood work this past Friday, Friday morning. And when I got home... We took uh, the carrot cake and such out of the freezer and ate it um, for a dessert. I couldn't even finish mine. <laughs> My carrot cake and ugu, it was making me sick. That's what happens, you know, when you don't eat that type of stuff. And it's like really, it was really rich. The ugu and the carrot cake is really rich. And I couldn't finish mine. So I finished like half of the carrot cake and I had a few bites of the ugu. So I put mine away. And then I finished the rest of it yesterday uh, for lunch. And to like compensate that, like for dinner, I just had, well, I had already started eating my, um, what's that fruit called? I might just leave this white onesie on her. I don't know. Um, dang it. A plum. I had a plum, a nectarine, an apple, and a cutie. You know, those little mini little mandarin oranges things that's easy to peel. So that was dinner last night. <laughs> so as I said, we have just mastered the art of, you know, hey, 
you've had this bad stuff, you've got to sacrifice. So we didn't really have dinner last night, we just had fruit. And the dinner that we had prepared for last night, I'm going to eat it tonight. And I tell you, I just have the best husband, like, ever in the world. Because I was like, hubby, I don't know what to cook next week. Like, I'm tapped out of ideas. I just don't know. And so I wake up this morning. I start getting, like, my salads ready and my lunches ready. I'm washing clothes and stuff. And he just comes in and starts taking a chicken out and seasoning it and stuff. I was like, so, I was like, hubby, you got any ideas? What, what are we going to make? And he was like, don't you worry your pretty little head, little lady. I got this. So he's cooking all the dinners for me. So that's what he's in there doing and giving me and allowing me to have some time with my babies because I literally have like minor, just minute amount of time to spend with my babies. Look at that little, look at that little chunker. Look at, look at that little chunker. Look at her. She's so cute. Let me tip her head up because you can't really see her eyes when she's sitting back. And her eyes are a Chuck Hazel, but they almost kind of look gray. But I, I think they're beautiful. They are just beautiful. Beautiful. So we're about to put my belly plate on. Uh, and I love these honest diapers, but man, she's had this one on like twice. So you know what? It's time to let that one go. Trash for this one. And if you guys don't know, Aria is the Carmen Sculpt by Adri Stoy. And also, if you don't know, I am planning on getting another baby from Latoy because her work is absolutely phenomenal. And you guys know I am interested in getting another special baby from her. Look at her little belly plate. It's so cute. Um, so it's all dried it. I did it last night and it's dried. And this is how I secured the belly plates. <clears throat> Let's see. Ah. <laughs> so this is just my preference. This is how I like to do my baby's belly plates um it's just like you know to each his own and this is just how i like to secure my baby's belly plates so i left it long i think i might leave it like that that's fine to me i think i'm gonna leave it just like that and i when i put her diaper on i took the bow down in her diaper. So she came with this little parent's choice diaper. Use this one. And say tuck, tuck, tuck my little bow in, mama. There we go. <laughs> and I, I just, I mean, she just has my heart. And I can't wait to get my other special baby my little boy and then I do believe my collecting will be over because simply because I have gotten to that point in my collecting that I can't see myself putting any of the babies that I have in my nursery up for adoption and when you get to that point, you're in trouble because babies in and babies out, babies in and no babies out equals trouble. So basically, you'll just keep filling your nursery up and just getting overwhelmed. And that's not what I want. So once Mr. Dason gets here and my special little baby that Ems and um, Lexi are creating for me. Uh, that's going to be it for me because I... Who was that? Oh, this thing. Like, I'm guessing my phone is doing something in the background. And I'll show you guys. Their little sound machine. You can't really see it. 
little green thing right there, green and white. It, uh, <laughs> my phone must have did some interference or something. Because I heard some... I was like, what in the world was it? Look at her. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Guys, like for real. This little girl has me. Oh, and that's something. I got some exciting things coming up this month. So next weekend, I will be doing my very first in town Reborn Mommy Meetup. <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm going to be meeting up with Tamara from, um, dang it. What is her channel name? Dolly Love, Dolly X Love, Dolly Love X, something like that. Dolly Love, something like that. Dang it, I can't remember. I'm sorry, tomorrow. I'm tripping. But we're going to be doing a meetup at City Park. And I'm, of course, bringing this little sweet angel. And I'm going to bring my, um, my little car seat and the little... It's not the it's not the snap and go. It's the other version of the snap and go. <clears throat> it's the other another brand that, and I'm gonna have her in there. And I've already picked out. I already know what she's wearing. I just looked in the closet. I'll say, yep, that's it. That is totally what she's wearing. So I think most likely, like I was feeling so gloomy and such, simply because. This little girl, I was missing her and whatnot. And I think now that I have her back, I feel like my mojo is like coming back. So I'm excited about that. There we go. These little mittens are tight. Thank goodness her hands aren't like really sprawled out. Because it wasn't going to fit. I got these at Burlington's. I think it was like a three pack. A little while ago for her. And it's going to match perfectly. She has so many other outfits. And whatnot. But I just had to put her in this little new outfit I got her. I was like, oh, sorry, must. Her little onesie says, I love mommy. And mommy loves you, you little pretty girl, you. Oh, I just love her. Uh, Latoya, I tell you, you have made my dreams come true. Made my dreams come true. This little girl is just perfection. Perfection. I love her. Two bits. But anyway, that's that. Let's see. I'm trying to get a little hand through. A little opening for the hand part is kind of tight. Eh. Let's see here. And now her other shirt has gone way up here. To pull it back down. There we go. There. Down, down. I am such a perfectionist when it comes these little baby dolls everything has to be perfect and does anyone else just have like that overprotective thing going on <laughs> where like their hands have to be covered and their head their feet man I'm just like really getting bad with that like I just cannot Just let them be free. I'm weird. Like when I want to hold them and stuff, they have to be like protected and covered. I don't know. I'm really weird in that aspect. <sighs> but we all have our quirks, don't we, ladies? And that's just one of mine. I just. And I guess because you have all these, you know, the hand mittens and. The socks and stuff and if you don't put them on them you don't get used I just like to coordinate what my babies are wearing and such so I don't know that's just me there we go 
So like I was saying, I'm super excited um, and nervous about the Reba Mommy meetup at City Park. I think we're meeting at, I think, I think tomorrow's at 3. And she actually opened up a little um, uh, event on Facebook. <clears throat> and I saw it, I said, whoa, cool. There we go. So I just checked that I was coming. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. I have to find her another hat. Let's change out her socks. These are her little princess socks here. This and this came together. <clears throat> they kind of match that little princess set at Target. So those are little mittens. And it came with these little socks. So let me put those up. Oh. So it's Sunday, and like I say, my loving husband has given me the opportunity to come in here and make a video for you guys and enjoy my little girl since so she just came back home, and I have been enjoying her immensely. I just love her the bits, and you guys... If you could just smell her right now. She smells so good. <laughs> she smells amazing. Glad she has two wonder wafers in her. <laughs> because she is just my little princess. And just nothing is too good for her. She is my little reborn everything. Like I say, when it comes to reborns. <clears throat> she is just top notch like seriously top notch and thank you to everyone that had commented on that video when I was asking for help trying to find some eyes for this little girl because I tell you sometimes you'll see something online and it's like oh that's so cute and then you see it in person and it's a whole nother story so I want to thank everyone um, that commented on that video when I was asking for help trying to find her some new eyes and I did and I love them and for everyone that commented to help me I really appreciate it That extra shirt under there has got her all poofy. Got a little tush. Look at that little tushy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know like a lot of people like to show off their baby and you know their details and everything. But it's like I know what's underneath all these layers of clothes. And that's like all that matters. Because I just like to protect them. I want them to last as long as possible and I know Latoya seals and seals and seals again her babies but I'm just still just so uber overprotective I'm just one of those type of reborn mommies there so there she is I'm debating on putting on slippers or some shoes. <laughs> I got to put the bows on the inside. I'm weird. I know. I want to see the bows. So that's what she looks like with the little slippers on. You can see that I love mommy underneath there. That looks funny. She looks hot. My poor baby. I know. <laughs> I can't help it though. It doesn't matter. She's a doll. So she doesn't get hot. <laughs> so that's what she looks like. Let me see if I can find her another hat. Alright, so I've changed her little hat out. 
And here's little Miss Aria for the day. She has her little belly plate on now. Let me see. You're looking uber adorable. <laughs> so yes, my mommy is OCD. And she can't help herself. She has to make sure I'm protected 24-7. Yes, I do. I know. I have problems. Uh, so here she is. I don't know if you guys can see me or not, but let me step all the way back. You should be able to see me pretty good. And here's her dolly from her Auntie Kimber. So this is not Aria's dolly. And I'm wearing my Keep Calm and Play With Doll shirt that uh, was gifted to me by my sis Yvonne. And shout out to Yvonne and Yasmin. They've been having so much fun on their Reborn Mommy meetups. And they have another one planned. So cool. It's like so cool to have someone that s shares your love um, for these special little babies, you know, you can hang out and like I say, it's always more fun in groups and with a friend, you know, to actually take your babies out and stuff. I <clears throat> am definitely more excited about taking my baby out with another reborn mommy instead of just, you know, by yourself or whatever. So, let all your aunties see you, pretty girl. I hope you guys can see her. But she is gorgeous. She's my little princess. My little special little girl. So, yep. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, you probably didn't see me at all because of the light. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> because the light drowned it out. Let me see if I kind of stand right here. Can you guys see? Say, oh, man. That didn't work out so well. It probably drowned us out, the sunlight. But she's gorgeous. I love her to bits. And I think I'm going to get um, her brother dressed. Um, Alex and Briar needs to be, needs to get dressed. And Maya too. Like, I need to um, get my Reborn Play Log back together. Um get all the babies names in there and everything because um when I when I'm just let go free range you know I just kind of get overwhelmed but when I have a list and I can say okay this baby's next this baby's next it makes it so much easier for me you know to each his own so let me see are you guys able to see her I hope so but that's it Say, oh dang, that light from outside was drowning, you guys. So she has a belly plate on, her new beautiful eyes. Thanks again to the Reborn community for helping me out. That's one thing I love about our community. Like I say, you ask for help and there's always going to be somebody right there ready to, you know, lend a helping hand. Uh, for when we need it. <sighs> Let's see. So there we go. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And get it uploaded. Um, oh there are some more exciting things I want to tell you guys. About the end of this month. So the end of this month. Is me and my hubby's anniversary. Our anniversary is uh, March 29th. And also, at the end of this month, my hubby and I will officially be debt-free. Yay! So, except for the house. We will make the last payment on my hubby's student loan. And that's it. Other than bills in the house, that's it. So, our hard work and, I don't know, perseverance. Oh, look at that birdie. Oh, it looks like a blue jay. Let me see if I can catch him for Christmas. Kimberly oh let me see he's probably gonna fly away by the time I get it there he is this is for Kimberly she loves her birds I think that's a blue jay am I right Kimberly so yeah we're gonna be debt-free 
at the end of this month. Um, oh, he flew away. Mine is the house. And our next step is to store up six to eight months of expenses. So we're going to calculate over the year that we have been keeping up with the receipts and get a, um, a average per month of what we're going to need and, you know, and so forth and so on. We're going to take out like the bills that we don't pay anymore, like the dentist bill, my student loan, his student loan, and anything else that was paid that's not, that we're not going to have to pay anymore. And the only sad thing about this story is like my car is on its last leg and I really don't want to get another loan, you know, have a car loan. So I'm just hoping that bad boy will last me another couple months to a year. That would be really nice if it could to help alleviate that stress of paying a car note and to just really focus on saving, saving, saving. And after the saving, saving, saving fest, after like a year or so of saving, then we're going to start investing. So like it, it's come to pass. So we're going to be celebrating at the end of this month, celebrating our debt free, that we're going to be debt free and our anniversary. So we're going to be celebrating that this weekend. And we're going to be doing it the good old fashioned budget way. And we're going to Olive Garden because I have two gift cards to Olive Garden and the meal is going to be free. So, <laughs> so that's what we're going to be going to celebrate our achievement. And like I say, we have just sacrificed so much and we are continuing to sacrifice. And yeah, that's about it. So those are some exciting things. Reborn Mommy Meetup, Debt Free, Anniversary, all coming up at the end of this month. And it's getting close to summer. And you guys know what that means. T-G-I-S. Thank God it's summer giveaway. So you guys know I do one annual giveaway. I had said that last year. So... When the first day of summer comes, be looking out for a giveaway. All right. I love you guys so much. It's so good to be getting back to myself and, I don't know, just being happy and just enjoying my hobby. Just enjoying my hobby again. So, like Compassion said, the past is in the past. It's like it didn't even happen. And we're moving forward from this day forward. All right. Love you guys so much. Peace. Bye-bye.